Dr. Feinberg, give us your assessment of where we are on testing and where we need to go on testing. The first thing to understand about testing, Lawrence, is that we have to understand the purpose of the testing. Do we want to identify patients who are coming down with this infection or have recently contracted it? Do we want to identify individuals who had it in the past and might be now resistant to coming down with illness? Do we want to understand in the community how widespread this virus is? We need different kinds of tests to answer those different questions, and we need all of them in much greater volume. More importantly even than that is that for the new serology tests that look at antibodies, we need to validate carefully whether these tests in fact perform in the way that the manufacturers claim. And right now, the FDA is allowing these tests to come to the market because of the enormous need for them, and yet we need to validate their performance or we're going to get misled potentially. So we need more tests, we need to understand the purpose, we need to deploy them where they're needed, and we need to validate their performance. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Feinberg, uh, stay on that for a moment, because at the White House briefing today, uh, Dr. Burks was asked about validating these tests and how the FDA is basically allowing them to rush out with tests, saying that the companies who are producing the tests have the job now of validating them themselves. And I don't think there was anything in Dr. Burks's answer that we could make sense of. She seemed to be saying that when you get that test, if you get your hands on that test, the manufacturer somehow has to have a document on it that will, to some extent, indicate the reliability of the test. Uh, but, but it was all so vague, it was hard to tell what she was saying. Yes, uh, Lawrence, we need independent validation of these tests. And even from a single manufacturer's uh, performance results, you want to compare different uh, kinds of tests at the same time against standards, because we're going to be using these different tests in different parts of the country, and we're going to need to know, is the result in place one using test A meaningful and similar to the result in place B using test B? So we need to validate these tests. It's a little bit like Ronald Reagan used to say about the Russians. Trust, but verify. 